So today we are going to be cutting up some Nellite. You're probably thinking, what the heck is Nellite? So let me tell you what Nellite is. Nellite, <laughs> I'm sure you've never even heard of it. Some people I, I'm sure have, but Nellite is petersite, which is the gold. That is the petersite. And then it's mixed in with blue tiger's eye. And it's kind of hard to see, but once we get this cut, that's when that blue should really pop out. So petersite, I'm going to go through a whole bunch of names here because this thing has like 15 different names. So Nellite is this. It's a combination of petersite and blue tiger's eye. Blue tiger's eye, they also call hawk's eye, and I believe falcon's eye. The golden petersite, they also call tempest stone, and I think by the end of this video, you'll see why, hopefully, because tempest stone, the petersite, when, especially when it's polished, it pops out and it looks like a storm, like storm clouds. So that's kind of where that gets its name. Then, so the Nellite, the Petersite, it's also the Nellite they call Honeystone. And that is another name for Nellite. And Lion Skin is the, it's the I think the last name. Lion Skin is what we're going to have the finished product of this. That's the nickname of Nellite, which is the combination of both Petersite and Blue Tiger's Eye. And Honeystone is as well. So commonly, this combination will be referred to as lion skin. And you can kind of see why. Looks like a lion skin. And we're going to cut this guy up and make some really cool stuff. You can see all the awesome like crystallization in there. And I mean, once we get into this though, that's that's when it's all gonna happen. A lot of times I will sit and look at one of these, uh, not this specific one, anything, and see, how am I gonna cut this? Am I gonna cut it this way? Am I gonna cut it this way? Is it because it's thick? Maybe I should cut it this way. It makes slabs and top, and it can get your head spinning. Because what I'm trying to do as a artist or rock artist, the crystal artist, is get the coolest colors, the coolest patterns, and see what we can make with this. So a lot of times too, you just gotta get in there and start cutting and see how it turns out. This guy, my, my plan right off the bat is I'm gonna see if I can cut this going down and get some big towers once I get them cut up, maybe I'll cut them in half again. Maybe I'll make a bunch of towers. Who knows? Maybe it'll all backfire on me and I got to do something different. That's what's cool about it. So this should be really fun. It's really thick, but I have a little bit of a surprise. So I will meet you guys over at the saw and we're going to get this thing figured out and see what we could create with some Nellite. Honeystone, lion skin, blue tiger's eye, Peter sight. Any other names? Let's see what we could do. So we are over at the saw, and guess what, my friends? Brand new slab saw from High Tech Diamond. Look at the blade on this beast. Whoo! I was ecstatic when this was delivered yesterday. And we are going to fire this sucker up and, and see what it's made of. So <clears throat> this guy, this is the other piece of um, Nellite that I didn't show you. And we're also going to cut this one. I'm going to start with this one. It's a little smaller. Just to get a handle on the saw. And look at all that beautiful golden petersite popping out of there. So this one, and then you can see the blue tiger's eye running through it what we're hoping for on this is to get it's going to be mainly a yellow color 
and we want to get a lot of that cool swirl pattern out of it, which is that tempest storm thing I was talking about with Petersite. When you mix that with the blue, this should be pretty neat looking. So let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to try to slice this one just to get going here and, and see what happens and should be interesting. I think this is going to come out really, really nice. Maybe we can make some slabs, some towers. We'll just have to see what happens here. And we'll see how hard this is. It's about a seven on the most hardness scale. So pretty hard. Nothing too crazy though. Nothing my new saw can't handle. Let's see how it goes. Let's get this fired up and get to cutting. At the moment of truth here, let's see what we're working with. Very, very beautiful. Wow. Awesome colors, awesome patterns. Look at the blue tiger's eye poking out there, just popping all through there. We have the golden Peter sight. These are going to be beautiful if I make this into a tower. I'm going to keep the rough all on the back here, all that beautiful rough, and then polish this front piece. I'm going to take this bottom right off, actually right now, and finish this up because I'm already excited. <laughs> this is going to be really cool to work with. I'm going to get some cool stuff out of this for sure. So let me cut this bottom off. Actually, I'm... I'm and let's check this piece out too. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colors in that thing. Woo! Awesome. This one I'm gonna continue to slice up and make another nice thick piece and uh, maybe turn these into some towers as well. I don't know. But let's nip the bottom off of this guy and make this into a tower right now. So we got our first little tower as I cut. I cut the base off and that's just awesome. That's gonna be perfect, look at that. Got the beautiful rough on the back, cool sides, and then that really beautiful front which is gonna be all polished up and get all that cool, beautiful golden colors just popping out of there. So let's keep going. I'm going to keep cutting and I'm going to keep making more cool stuff. Maybe next up I'll do a little slab, but very good start to my new saw here. Very happy. All right, next up I'm going to make another tower out of this. I'm going to cut this maybe an inch thick. And this next one will be super awesome because it's going to be eventually polished on both sides. Look at that, awesome colors and just patterns. And you can kind of see why it's called the Tempest Stone with like, I mean, it has like storm patterns in it, but maybe you can't really see that on this piece. We'll get some more uh, as we cut, hopefully of that, that cool cloud look. 
So let's keep going and uh, make some, make another tower about right to there, I guess. And then I'll cut the base. See what we got here more awesome stuff beautiful on both sides you can really see the blue tiger's eye popping out of this one which makes it really unique i love it i love it we're gonna cut this piece off now on the bottom and, and make this into a tower This guy, I like to use, when I'm doing the tower bases, I like to use the uh, vice support here so I can ensure that I get a good, perfectly lined cut. So let me go to about there. I'm gonna slice this off on the bottom and make it stand up. another beautiful Nellite Tower from Africa. Awesome. That means I still got a cool little piece here. Still going to polish this. I, I, I don't throw away anything. So I'm looking at this piece and I'm thinking... Should I turn this into a slab? Should I cut it up into pieces? What should I do? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this into another tower. I'm gonna keep the entire big chunky piece. I'm gonna take the whole bottom off, make it level, and then have a really cool looking thick tower. And again, look at all that cool blue tiger's eye popping out of there. Hawk's eye. All right, let's see here. Let me cut this base off and see how this one turns out. That should be enough to get it a good flat base. Another little cool, good size actually, tower with a nice chunky rough side to it. That came out really cool. So after quite a bit of a struggle, I finally get through this thing. And whoa, it was pretty rough, but... <laughs> It's, uh, we're getting there. This is some really hard material. And I had to let my saw cool down. With slab saws like this, I guess the bigger the saw, you just gotta let it cool. You're supposed to only run it for maybe a half an hour, but I think I exceeded that and uh, started overheating a little bit. So I let it cool down and Finally got through this, but it is worth it. Look at that. That is awesome stuff. This is going to, hopefully this will take a nice polish. I believe it will, but it might take me a little bit. But we're going to keep going now. This piece I'm going to keep just as is, and I don't remember exactly how it sat, but it does 
sit and stand up, I think this way, even though it's like the smaller end, sits uh, pretty nice. So this should be done. So I'm gonna consider this piece done. And then this big guy, I'm going to do another tower. The thing is, this stuff is brutal. So I think I'm gonna go with right down the middle and make two mega towers out of this, which will be pretty thick. So that's my plan. I'm pretty much gonna go right down the middle, have one tower standing up this way and have a lot of cool rough. And this guy will be extra awesome because it'll have two polished sides. So one more cut, which might take me a while. So I'm gonna get going on this. It's coming along though, and looking pretty awesome, I will say. You could really see now why it's called, with Peter Sight, why it's called the Tempest Stone, because you can see like, it almost looks like storm clouds or like another planet or something. So, all right, I'm gonna get rolling and, and just take my time and work way, mark my way through this piece. Getting there, slowly but surely. So let's see, what's the best way to cut this guy? I'm thinking just like this, actually. And two big towers, that's gonna be cool. All right, I'm gonna flip this around. I'm getting there. I'm gonna flip it on this side now and keep cutting. stretch here. Thank God. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. And this guy, that's another beautiful one. All right, finally. Wow, is that tough to cut. Well, it is finally time to start polishing. I'm gonna start with one of these uh, smaller little towers. Still pretty good size, actually. Not that little, but we're gonna get this all polished up and see how tough this is to polish and take off that whole first layer. So far it's been pretty tough to work with, especially cutting. Definitely a good challenge right out of the gate with my new slab saw. <laughs> so, all right, time to get polishing and I have a lot to polish. So this should take me a while. But I am very happy so far with these, the way they're turning out. Really beautiful color, just everything. I mean, now you can see why it's called lion skin or honey stone. Keep it going. We're getting there. Whew, look at that. That is really, really beautiful stuff. Oh man, that is awesome. 
Keep going. And check that out. Wow. Look at all the color in that. Absolutely awesome. It looks like a painting. I mean, they're right there. That's art. That is nature's art. Absolutely incredible. And this stuff is... It's a little hard to polish. Now, check this out. Just this little cube. Look at the color in that. So nice. I mean, that is really nice color. There's so much going on in there for just this little piece. And honestly, this kind of inspires me, just this one little piece, <clears throat> because I could get a whole big chunk of rough, next time, of rough melee, and break it up and cut it all up into little cubes. That would be kind of cool. Well, all right, we're getting there. So we are on to the next wheel here, the next grit. And some of these you've seen already, the beautiful color. I have to wait until I get these under the light. I can't show you some of them, some of the bigger ones now. I mean, I'm blown away just blown away so we're gonna wait on those until I get them under the light and uh, for the final reveal they're just mind-blowing I'm I'm currently in shock of how amazing some of the larger towers come out um, so we're gonna keep going and knock out the rest of this And we are on to the next grit, the last grit. Here we go, ready to show off some Nellite. And oh my God, I could not be happier with the result of this. And Wait till I get some to some of the bigger pieces. I mean, holy God, look at that. Look at the color, the patterns. Just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, this, this could be the best thing I've created so far in terms of turning something into towers from rough. I, I'm ecstatic. Look at the color and the just beautiful pieces that come out. Rough on one side, polished on the other. I, I'm I'm drooling. Drooling. Look at these. How awesome are they? Wow. I, I, I'm seriously blown away. Even when I was cutting this material, I could tell like it was nice, it looked good. But once you get it polished and really have that finished product and get these all cleaned up and, and washed up, get all the, the rock dust off them, and, and it, it is way better than expected. And all of them pretty much were turned into towers except this one, which still stands up and shows off an incredible scenic type of landscape. I mean, it's like, 
that is nature's art. Right there is nature's art. It's to me, this is what it's all about. And this is why I love doing this stuff. This one polished on both sides. You get those beautiful golds from the Peter site blasting out. And then you have the blue tiger's eye, which is the hawk's eye. Also just making it look so incredible. And these, the front ones, are more heavy on the Peter site with the yellows popping out. Now, these to me are just some of the nicest stuff I've ever made. Look at the color on this. And most of this is the blue tiger's eye coming out. But, oh man, it, it's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, so beautiful. And look at the reds and the blues and everything just popping out. I, I, I'm blown away, especially by some of these bigger towers. Now, I don't know which one is better, but look at this one. I'm like, a, I know, I'm like a little kid. I'm like a little kid here, but I, I can't help it. Look, <laughs> check this one out. Incredible colors. Look at the blues and the grays and everything just works perfectly together mind-blowing look at the, this side just look at the patterns in that wow i mean we're talking when we talk nellite i have never worked with it before i've had some in my collection but i've never really worked with it in terms of lapidary i did not expect this as an end result at all especially when you have the the rock from rough just kind of looking like this still to me that looks cool but when it turns into something like this once you get in there and slice it, it, it's mind-blowing it really is and these just I, I i couldn't be more happy i'm super pumped now to to keep going and make some more cool stuff um, we also have this little cube. The only thing is, it is even this little cube. Look at look at all the colors and patterns and everything popping out of this. Beautiful, beautiful material, Nellite. Just epic, and and especially when you have a lot more of the the dark tiger's eye, and then this these are more heavy on the the, the blue tiger's eye than the Peter site, but still, it's like an entire. It looks like an oil painting. It's it's incredible. Definitely, I'm going to be keeping one of these for my personal collection. I always have a problem um, keeping some stuff, and that's why I have so much stuff in my house. But I, I definitely will be keeping one piece of this, and the rest I'll be selling. Um, I'm again, I do I sell on Courtdale Crossings, so at some point I'll be listing these um if anybody was interested in something just hit me up quicker and i could try to get them listed sooner than later but i'm i'm in love with a lot of these that are rough on the one side you still have the, the rough and then you still have that beautiful polished face and again i'm not an expert i'm not gonna you know these aren't probably polished to complete perfection my main thing when I'm polishing is to make sure I get out all the saw marks. I mean, that's the important part, getting that whole face off and then trying to, to work on that polish. And let me tell you, this material, it, it came out awesome. I've worked on these for quite a while. And yes, it's worth it. This was probably the toughest Maybe the worst decision in terms of me uh, testing something out on the new slab saw. I was uh, researching it after the fact, and they said Nellite is very tough to work with, especially when cutting. So I had my work cut out for me on this one. Um, next time, I think I'm definitely going to get more Nellite. But what I think I'm going to do is 
break it up into smaller pieces and then make some smaller stuff like this and probably come out with I, I, once you cut it though it is just incredible incredible you just never know what you're gonna get and this one might be my favorite even though it's like one of the smaller ones still a pretty good size but it has everything in it reds browns just all that beautiful blue tiger's eye oh i'm i'm drooling drooling so i'm very happy with this this batch and definitely we'll have to make more cool stuff with nellite however we're gonna move on and make some extra some more stuff coming up and couldn't be more excited about it i i'm pumped i really am so hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's uh keep this going and have some fun i'll see you guys next time